What's up guys, it is Maxwell with another World of Warcraft video and today I want to talk about how I got all time plus 25 keys during Dragonflight Season 3. Welcome to the video and no, the answer is not I play Vengeance Demon Hunter and that's the entire video even though that would be kind of funny and uh, I will address class and role uh, and the way that it impacts uh, your success when parking Mystic Plus a little bit later. But that's not going to be the main point of the video because even if you are Avengers Demon Hunter, you still don't get uh, all 25s uh, handed to you for free. So we're going to talk a little bit in the beginning about my uh, achievements so far this season. Of course, the season is not over and I do want to go a little bit higher still. Then I'm going to talk a little bit about how to be successful when parking Mythic Plus in general, in my opinion. And towards the end, I want to make a segment about how to improve uh, yourself and improve as a player and also what I have done in that regard. That's sort of the plan uh, for the video. Hopefully it's not going to get too long, even though I have a feeling it will be. But I will put timestamps in the description so you can skip to whatever part interests you the most, if that's what you want to do. All right, so just briefly, I want to show you guys uh, what I have currently done in the game. So this is my main character, but I just want to show you that I also play other classes. Like I played Warlock up to 24 keys, Evoker up to 24 keys, Paladin up to 22, Druid and some other classes as well. So I do like to do a bunch of different stuff and do I, currently I do like... A lot of keys every week, so um, I just want to throw it out there. But now we're going to return to my best character, um, which is my Demon Hunter. And it's also the character that I've been maining pretty much since the end of BFA. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and look at my score here. So, as you can see, I do have a 25 times in every single dungeon. Now, uh, next week, so my next goal is to get all the 26s, of course. Um, already got a 27 as well which is nice and next week i want to uh, ideally like increase my fortified score so that it like uh, or my tyrannical score i should say so that it matches fortified and as you can see i am pretty much only tanking i do have yeah two keys as uh, dps so not really dpsing as i said i will get into that a little bit later and uh, some people are saying that this season feels really easy and feels easier than other seasons all i can say is that I have never before this season really like grinded it out the way I am right now and never really played a lot past getting all the plus 20 portals. Usually I would stop at like 22s or whatever and just like not care anymore because pugging was really fr frustrating for me and I'm pretty much only pugging. But this season, I don't know, I somehow have found the motivation to keep playing and looks like it's working out and also... Um, what currently drives me as well is just uh, like seeing like people I know play and like just trying to uh, beat them, right? Like <laughs> trying to get more score in them and stuff like that. So that's currently stuff that drives me. And yeah, now we're gonna get into basically how I got where I'm right now and tips that I can share in general and also. Uh, tips to like improve uh, as a player okay so in the beginning i want to address the concern of you play tank or you play demon hunter and that's why you're successful um if you have a problem with some classes being like more liked or more invited than others then just reroll right simple fix like doing what i did so far is possible on every single class every single spec if you try hard enough and if you feel like it's too tough for yourself, then just reroll, right? Just reroll to to a class that is uh, maybe more liked in the current patch. You can always do that. Like nothing is stopping it from uh, stopping you from doing it. it. Takes one week to gear up a new character if you play enough, and uh, boom, you're there. Like no problem at all, right? So that's why, in my opinion, the class and role discussion doesn't really matter because. You always see the good players doing well every single season. Even good players that are pugging a lot, like for example, Smog or whatever, top healer, um, always successful and also plays tank, healer, even DPS sometimes. So you can like literally, this is what I've done so far 
in the like grand scheme of things it's maybe good but there's way bigger fish in the pond so this is not even that crazy in my opinion and you can definitely do this as every single class every single spec and that's also already like the first tip that i would like to share is just uh, to play a lot like um i have played more this season than any other season so so far i think maybe not season 4 bfa i might have played more but um in the like the quality of keys definitely didn't play more yet i have 57 uh timed 20 and higher keys and that's definitely already like a record for me you may see say like i have 100 or 150 or even more like 57 is not even that many that's because i'm pretty efficient i would say with what i do like i usually don't do keys that are not score for me that being said i do do that to like help out friends or whatever but uh, like, yeah, I don't do many keys that are like not gonna be score for me if if I time it. So, but playing a lot is always gonna help. Like I know players in this game that are not very good, but they still have really high score, really good rate progression, simply because they are always around and they play a lot. So that's like always gonna help you. That's sort of like my tip number one. Um, I wanna quickly address something that I personally don't do but I probably should do it which is to like record yourself that can really help out it's really easy download OBS to record yourself and uh, just look at your own gameplay and that can really help you to improve because you are gonna be able to see pause see what you're actually doing and if you are like honest with yourself and you maybe like compare yourself to better players or you just think about the situations like what could I have done here then uh, you're gonna improve 100% like there's always something like whenever you wipe or you die or somebody in your team dies there's almost always something that you could have done probably is always something that you could have done to like um, prevent that situation or make it better and uh, yeah, so that can help a lot. I'm not doing it, I should probably do it, but uh, that's a tip that I wanna share. Um, what I did in the very beginning, or also what I did to like get higher quickly was to play my own key. Now, I already did that this week, and as you can see, my key is now 24. So <laughs> it got depleted a couple of times. Um, and so I'm not playing it right now, even though we could maybe two chest uh, Natal does not here. And if I, when I say we, I, I'm not talking about the team or anything because I don't have a team. But uh, I could probably find some people to from group friend to two chesters with. But yeah, um, play your own key is gonna be like always a cheat code to get higher quickly because uh, chances are you're gonna be able to find uh, a couple of good players and uh, all of a sudden your key is two chested and you're two levels higher than you were before um, so that's always a cheat code that being said I don't do that a lot like I try to reroll my key and play my key if it is something that I need but it's something that I don't need at the moment then I don't play my own key a lot um, I just like to, I don't know, for some weird reason in my head, I just like like seeing groups and signing up. Damn, there's actually a lot of groups now. It was a lot less a couple of minutes ago. Um, I just like seeing groups signing up and getting invited. Like for some reason in my brain, that's just something that I enjoy. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. But uh, playing your own key is always going to be a good shortcut to uh, getting higher. Um, another simple tip that I would like to share is do big damage like uh, it sounds maybe kind of stupid it's maybe kind of simple but I always try to do as much damage as I possibly can um, so I think this is something that you should do no matter what role you play like if you're healer tank or of course especially as a DPS player you should always be like really greedy for damage like really trying to do every single point of damage that you can without dying of course because if you die for it then it's not not worth anything but uh, for example for me as a tank I always think about like can I chain this current pull can I pull something into this boss without like putting my team in too much danger can I pull some maggots into rather gluttonous can I um, like these mobs are almost dead uh, uh, banquet steward is casting his AOE can I already go uh, in to the room again and pull some more stuff out that's always stuff that i think about and that is just uh, 
gonna improve your damage to to like um like in my case as a tank once again to like pull bigger right and uh, or pull stuff into bosses and you cannot forget that uh, mythic plus is a timed event right it's all about time it's beating a timer doing keys in time so doing more damage and killing stuff killing the dungeon essentially faster is always gonna help you out so much so always do big damage like you, with, also with your talents like play as aggressively as possible for example i i tried uh, i tried a build yesterday with like more damage with like playing focus cleave while still trying to have soul monger like i'm always trying to uh, trying to come up with like new ways um and also looking at what other people are doing right for example if you see now plays you can see i feel like a now build here that i copied from now now is always doing big damage right so like i want to do now damage if i can I, like maybe i'm never gonna get there who knows but uh, i would like to do now damage so if i can do now damage then uh, i'm gonna help my group out right and i don't know if this like relation to my two dps here in the last key that we did is like good or not good or whatever but I definitely tried to do big damage in that key and I think it, it helped us because uh, we timed that key by like a couple of seconds, like I don't know 15 seconds or something. The key before that we timed by 2 seconds and if I would do less damage then we probably wouldn't have timed either one of those keys. So yeah, do big damage. Um, something that I have been doing a lot this season because I realized I want to go higher and I want to play higher keys and play with better players is to not leave groups like i see this a lot with uh, people that are maybe not thinking about it or maybe are not very smart that they time the key and they just instantly like leave the group and that's that right they're gone and i don't think i should you should do that like i if I would like look at my friends list now, I like there's so many people that I added this season. Of course, like it's early in the morning now, uh, so not many people online. But on my friends list, there's probably like I don't know 15 or 20 people that I added from this season of Mythic Plus, and that's just when I see saw people that were playing well or that I enjoy playing with, which <laughs> usually goes kind of hand in hand because if people are doing low damage or dying a lot then i usually don't want to do more keys with them since i'm only pugging right then i always try to talk to them like compliment them on their play add them try to do more keys with them and uh we're all we all have this scenario in mind of like i found the perfect group i have my five man group and we're like pushing all the high keys together right but in reality that is never gonna happen from zero to 100 like the way stuff like that happens is like you meet somebody you enjoy playing with you add them you meet another uh, person that you enjoy playing with you add them and um, for example yesterday I um, I timed two keys with uh, two people that I already knew from the past like I played with them uh, I raided with them in the past uh, and uh, played keys with one of them in the past but that is like that was like like last season or like two seasons ago i don't even quite remember uh, when that happened and uh i saw them in group finder and joined them and uh, was able to time two keys with them yesterday so that's just uh, goes to show like when you're starting from zero when you're pugging you don't have to like make commitments like i never make commitments right like there, it, there has been uh, i've been in situations where people try to like get me to let's play friday at 7 p.m and i was like no i'm not doing that because i don't like to <laughs> like raiding is already enough of a commitment i don't need more commitments in world of warcraft so i log on whenever i log on and if the people are there to play with then i play with them and if not then uh, so be it right so i don't uh, I don't make any commitments like that and I, I also think you don't want to do that because if you want to move up then you like let's say you're moving up from like I don't know 18 keys you want to move up to 20 keys then you moved up to 20 keys but do you really want to stay at 20 keys or do you want to go to 22 keys because if you are gonna form a team of people that are doing 20 keys then maybe you're gonna have a harder time doing like 22s or 23s and if you're at that level but you want to do 25s then like how long are those people that do 22s really going to be able to help you so that's also some uh, like a, um, a reason why i don't 
like commit to any like playing mythic plus together relationships in world of warcraft because uh, i don't feel like i'm done yet like i'm not at the level yet where i want to be so yeah i try to talk to people add people and also motivate people to play with me if i think they're playing well but i don't want to commit too much to anything right Okay, another thing that is always going to help you is uh, being prepared. The easiest uh, thing I can um, mention as a tank is, of course, Mythic Dungeon Tools. For example, yesterday I went into two 26 Everblooms. Both of them ended up being depleted. And especially in the first one, I had no clue what I'm doing. Like, I had a route from last week from Tyrannical. Uh, this one. And I just was like, yeah, okay, let's just do that. And like, <laughs> it didn't go well uh, because I didn't think about it. And then after the second deplete, I was like, what am I even doing here? Like, why am I trolling these people's keys? I need to, I need to do better than that. And I cooked up my own route um, for like fortified, which is in my opinion doable, and 26 packs, and it's like reasonably safe and it's for sure fast enough. And so be prepared and that doesn't like, of course, now we're talking again. I'm always talking, of course, out of my POV, which is tank POV. And now we're talking with dungeon tools, but there's so many things you can do to be prepared. Like, I don't know, enchant all your gear. Dude, my belt is, by the way, not even enchanted. I wanted to do it the other day and I forgot. I think my warlock has it enchanted, but my demon hunter does not. So, um, But yeah, be prepared. Have all your stuff enchanted. Like, know your best stats. Of course, like, you're all going to be doing all of that already. But just be prepared. Uh, look at talent builds from high-level players. I already showed you. Like, I have some now built. I, I think, don't I have, like, another one from, like... Dorky build, nerf build, like look at all these high level tanks that I'm like trying to steal their their brain power, right? Uh, that's allowed. <laughs> you can do that. So, and it's uh, smart uh, as well. So, yeah. Another tip I want to give is take breaks, <laughs> slash deal with negative emotions. So, whenever I'm pugging, at times I get really, 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 really tilted. And, uh, I'm like even yesterday I typed two keys yesterday so I was not far off from where I am right now but I still got really tilted again yesterday and maybe I could have said man the season's going well I'm doing so good uh, like I have uh, all my goals like in reach and in, in, in within sight but still I get tilted right and I got actually tilted twice yesterday once from people I played with making mistakes and also once from me myself playing bad actually like believe it or not i was honest to myself and i realized that i was playing bad in these everbloom keys and i was frustrated and tilted and i took a break i just like went away for like an hour or hour and a half took a break came back prepared my route for everbloom and now i feel ready to attack everbloom and i still have not timed the 26 everbloom this week but i'm gonna attempt to do all that and yeah so take breaks find a way to deal with your frustrations everybody gets frustrated everybody thinks they are the best player and they don't make mistakes most most uh, anyway and um, just find a way to deal with it that is something that i feel is important and has especially recently helped me a lot um something that is maybe a little bit minor but i kind of already touched on that when i was like damn there's a lot more groups now and now as you can see there's less again i didn't change my search options but play at the right time is something else that i would uh, would like to say so f usually that is playing afternoon evening night time until maybe like 2 or 3 a.m latest after that it really drops off um during weekdays probably like 1 a.m. latest and then after it really drops off so if you can play at those times from like 4 p.m. when people get home from work school whatever until like 1 a.m. and like in that corridor you're gonna have the most success pugging 100% like you're gonna have more success than like for example right now at like 10 a.m. complete uh, terrible time to play right now granted there is keys maybe I could get into one of these keys but uh, 
like you do the same you type in 27 at uh, like at the right time in the evening there's gonna be like like a gazillion more keys right uh, sometimes I also use pre-made groups uh, filter even though I am like starting to get to a level where <laughs> that add-on is almost not necessary anymore because there's not too many keys to sign up like if we do what if we do like 15 see there's a bunch more keys so uh, at, that, at, at that level it probably makes a, a lot more sense to use pre-made groups filter when you're starting to get towards 26 it's like right now I don't want to do lower than 26 right so I'm typing in 27 um, when you start to get a level pre-made groups filter gets a little bit maybe irrelevant but in general this is a good add-on I like this a lot and uh, yeah that sort of concludes my like middle part of the video where I wanted to talk about like tips in general uh, or what I'm doing when I'm pugging Mythic Plus. Now we're gonna move on towards the last section of the video where I wanna uh, talk a little bit more about improving yourself. And when I talk about improving yourself, I'm once again mainly gonna share my own uh, experiences and my own uh, thoughts and what I've done, uh, right? I already, earlier I already mentioned that I don't, um, I don't record myself, so that's something that I could improve on <laughs> uh, to get better. But what have I what have I done? I already mentioned watch top players. Like I'm watching top players constantly. There, a lot of them are live streaming on Twitch. You can find the Twitch links through Raider.io, and they are more than happy to share. Um, like take little parts out of their UI. By the way, I want to make this weak or smaller. I, I just realized that I want to do that. Um, I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to distract myself. But uh, this is a little bit big now for my liking. For the longest time, I liked it like this, but now I think I want to make it a little bit smaller. Um, so that's also another improvement already, right? Like my UI is maybe going to get a little bit better. Maybe I'm going to see a little bit more on my screen due to making this weak or smaller, and maybe that's going to help me time another key. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Watching top players doing big damage is already two things that I mentioned. Um, like, if you're not using like full consumables, full enchants, now I can say that because the belt enchant is just stamina, right? So, um, <laughs> but like if you're not using full con enchants, full consumables like potions, uh, um, buff food runes, uh, like you're trolling, right? Like what what do you want to do in like 20 or 25 keys or even higher keys? If you're not like you using everything you can to be prepared to do big damage, like you're literally trolling. Yeah, like it's also not like a sneaky like getaway, like haha, you guys are using consumables and I'm so smart saving the money. You're not only trolling them, you're also trolling yourself because you're de decreasing your own success uh, chance, right? So yeah, uh, always have everything ready to do big damage, be prepared. Um, min max everything, something else that I want to talk about. So yesterday, so as I mentioned, this is my main character since the end of BFA, right? So you would think that I have a good idea of what I need, what I don't need, and uh, what is going to make me play um, good for the level that I'm at or play bad. Yesterday, I literally changed key bindings and I added another um, added another key binding because I, for the longest time, I was playing with only focus kick macro, and uh, I didn't want that anymore. Like I wanted to have three kicks available. I want to have the normal kick, focus kick, like focus target, and also mouse over kick, and I did that. I changed that and uh, I feel like it's already helped me play better. It's already helped me do more damage, for example, on Waycrest Mana, First Boss, uh, Heartsbane Triad, the, the Witch Sisters. It's already helped me to like be able to mouse over kick because you never want to kick the, the main target because it's just cast on tank, right? So you want to kick the off targets to like stop damage on your party. And usually I would do that by like tap targeting to that witch, kicking her, tap targeting back to the main witch that I want to hit and that actually takes damage and that's obviously a damage loss right so I made a mouse over kick macro and I now have three kick key bindings kick mouse over kick and focus kick and that's another example of something that you can min max that you could do just a little bit better to do a little bit more damage and once again the way I did a wake crest mana yesterday 
and we timed it by two seconds. Maybe, maybe if I didn't create the focus kick macro, I do less damage to that boss. Maybe we would have depleted that one. Who knows? But that just goes to show min max everything that you can min max. Don't be lazy. You're gonna do more damage. You're gonna have a better chance at timing keys. Simple as that. Um, one final thing. And that sort of concludes uh, a cycle because it's basically what I already said in the very beginning is practice makes perfect and play a lot. Like you can literally be successful uh, on every single class. Obviously some classes are easier than others to get invited to keys and uh, essentially to climb the ranks. But if you play a lot and you play enough, then you are going to be successful no matter what. Like repetitions are going to help you. Practice is going to make you better. You're going to improve and you're going to be more successful. And if you're like unhappy with where you are at and you think you should be higher rated than you currently are, then just think about have you actually like actually done everything that you could have done to be higher like have you min max everything have you put the time in have you put the effort in and if you're honest to yourself the answer to that is always going to be no there's always something that you could do could have done to like be more successful and yeah it's as simple as that like uh, the skill cap there's of course skill differences but even at the level where i am at now which is probably higher than than the average it's like not a, like a crazy skill requirement like to do this right like to do 25s or like 26s what's going to help you the most is to play a lot and obviously it's also going to improve your skill you're going to learn things you're going to seize things maybe like you're going to play with another hunter or another red paladin and they're going to do more damage than you and you're going to have going to have to look at their damage and going to figure out hmm, why did they do more damage than me for example it happened to me on my warlock the other day in raid like we had another warlock and they did more damage to me and i looked at the damage breakdown and i was like okay so he did this different or did that different because he did more damage with the imps or with the faucet bonus and if i like hadn't played the raid on my warlock then I wouldn't have seen that and I wouldn't have improved. So play a lot, practice a lot and get better and be successful. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say for today. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully it is going to help you out. I just basically wanted to share my thoughts. And once again, the video got way longer than I was planning on making it. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Hopefully timestamps are going to help you guys out. And yeah, if you enjoy my stuff, then subscribe to the channel, like the video. There's going to be more coming in the future for sure. I'm definitely going to make a video at the very end of the season showing you guys how far I was able to go. And um, that's going to do it. So thank you for watching. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.